Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Tori Talks Wrestling. On today's episode, we are reviewing Families of Wrestling. Okay, who recommended this video? John. So if you watched last week's video, you watched and found out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we are. We're and, here to do it. And now, there are some families that we didn't mention mm-hmm. on this list, so be sure to comment below which ones you thought we left off the list that should have been on our list. Mm-hmm. And before we get onto this list, I'm going to do some honorable mentions of such families as the Flayers, Woo! Which has Rick and Charlotte. So that's uh, not really enough to do though. Right. And uh, David had a little bit of a career in WCW. Then you have families such as the Fullers slash Welch family, which kind of gets a bad rap when you watch shoot interviews because of the way they handled business in the territory days back in Tennessee. But they had some great performers. Ron and Robert Fuller were both fantastic. Most of you probably know Robert Fuller as Colonel Parker from WCW. He had some fame. They both had some fame going on, but their family kind of did some not nice things in the wrestling business. In fact, another family that's also known for kind of the same thing is a family by the name of the Lawlers, having Jerry Lawler, his son Brian Christopher, and Jerry Lawler's cousin is a great Center Continental champion of all the time. I got my long... Sideburns got my hair slipped back up to your tail and it's pink tail like I'm just a honky tonk man. He's a honky tonk man. Honky tonk man. He's a honky tonk man. I'm I forgot the words. Ooh, I'm cocky. I'm <laughs> bad. <laughs> honky tonk man is Jerry Lawler's cousin. For mm-hmm. those of you that didn't know that, let's kick off our list with our rating system. And our first family that we're going to mention is the Blanchards, mm-hmm. which had the promoter of Joe Blanchard, his son Tully Blanchard. And Tully's daughter, Tessa Blanchard. So that's three generations there, so, all in the wrestling business. I personally go to seven nine ten because I don't know much about the first guy. I just know about Tessa and Tully. I gave it a 7 or an 8 out of 10. Tully didn't achieve the heights that he probably could have, and I think that was on purpose from playing by other people. And Tessa... Hopefully she'll stop getting in her own way because she's insanely good. Then we have the Guerrero family. So I personally get this 8 out of 10. There's so many iconic wrestlers to come out of it. Intermarrying too. It's not just, uh, you know, like brothers and sisters. Right. And I gave it a 7 out of 10. And I wouldn't have ranked them so high except for the gobbledygooker. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> that train wreck. <laughs> yeah, that was a Guerrero. Mm-hmm. Then you had Chavo Classic going on. You remember Chavo Classic? That was great. Mm-hmm. Is that where they did the song? Oh, Chavo. That was just his normal song. Yeah, that was just his song. <laughs> I always hated that song. <laughs> <laughs> the next family I would like to mention mm-hmm. is one of my personal favorites, and that's the Wyndhams. Okay, yep. Starting with the grandfather of Black Jack Mulligan, who used to fist fight Andre the Giant for fun. They enjoyed beating each other up. Does that sound fun, Tori? No. <laughs> Blackjack had two sons, Barry and Kendall. Now, Kendall was good, but Barry is like known as maybe one of the greatest of all time. Barry had a tag team partner that might have fallen in love with his sister, and his name was Mike Rotunda, better known to most people as IRS. Mm-hmm. And then IRS and Barry's sister had two boys by the name of Bray Wyatt and Bo Dallas. So when you're talking about wrestling families, this one kind of just keeps going up. Mm-hmm. And so I gave them a 10. What did you give them? I gave them an 8 because I don't know too much about the earlier generations. I mean, I know my channel is towards talk wrestling, but I'm, I'm about to be only 17 years <laughs> old. So I don't know much about like the 70s and 80s. And she stuff. might have missed the Black Jack Mulligan era. Yeah. <laughs> She does love Bray Wyatt. I do. I'm a huge Bray Wyatt fan. So. And I do like the B team. That should have been a thing for longer. I agree. Okay, so your, but your favorite family member would be? Bray, Yeah. obviously. Sure. Mine would probably be Barry Windham of that family. Tori's maybe one of her current favorites, the Guns. <laughs> <laughs> With Rod and Todd. <laughs> or... Colton and Austin. Or Colton and Austin. And their dad, Billy Gunn. Mm-hmm. Oddly enough, their uncle Bart is left off of the list all the time. Who's Uncle Bart? It was Billy Gunn's brother when they were the smoking guns. I've never heard of him. It's not real family. Oh. <laughs> Bart Gunn, their uncle, is always missing in that list. Mm-hmm. So I gave this 7 out of 10 personally 
because I, I mean, I like them all, but at the same time, the Suns really haven't been there too long, so I, it's hard to say a definitive answer. I gave them a six because the Suns uh, are coming along, mm-hmm. but they're not quite to their dad's yeah. level he right. ever was. Mm-hmm. I do think they're entertaining. They're very entertaining. Mm-hmm. And they've learned that that's where you make your money is by being entertaining. I also like the dynamic between the entire family and Dan Housen. <laughs> In the videos, like, Billy Gunn's like, Dan Housen, you're like the son I've always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, we are your sons. <laughs> the next family we're going to mention can be described with one move. The Iron Claw. The Iron Claw. And that's the Von Erichs. Mm-hmm. You had Fritz, his sons David, Carrie, Kevin, Mike, and Chris. One of them ended up having a daughter named Lacey that's in wrestling now. But the Von Erichs set Texas on fire. Them and the Freebirds kept it rolling for years. I still think Carrie Von Erich, had he kept his head straight, could have been Hulk Hogan's replacement in the WWE. Mm-hmm. He just had that charisma. He had that it factor. Unfortunately, he just couldn't keep up the pace mm-hmm. but i think the von erics i give them an eight out of ten because growing up i loved the watching dallas and the von erics were a staple there what do you give the von erics i give them five out of ten now don't be mad at me i don't dislike them i'm just saying i don't know anything about them i do know that there's gonna be a new movie coming out about one of them and who knows maybe when that comes out i can do a review of it on this channel see like is this realistic or not is it accurate or is it is it just not a good movie? Who's playing the part of one Zac of Efron? <laughs> <laughs> and he looks so weird in the pictures. It's so weird. He's got jacked up for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he has. The next family on our list is a family that ran Canada, pretty much the whole country for years, and that's the Hart family. You had Stu Hart. Brett and Owen are the ones that everybody knows, and there were many, many other brothers. Their sisters, one of them married Davy Boy Smith. The British Bulldog. Another one married Jim the Anvil Nightheart. So, mm-hmm. and then they had children of Harry Smith and Natalia Nightheart. See, so this is another like dynasty in wrestling is the Hart family. Now, what do you give the Hart family? I personally give the Hart family a nine out of ten. Uh, I just, agree. I I really don't have a reason not to give it to nine out of ten. Maybe because Natalia is not my favorite. I don't dislike her, but she's kind of boring to me. So. I agree. She's kind of been there too long and yeah. stayed at the same level too long. Just been a jobber. There is too many names in that family, though, to give them anything less than a nine. Yeah. I yeah. You can't give them. And we didn't even mention all of them. I mean, a lot of them had such success in Canada, like mm-hmm. on Canada television wrestling. But we're going by the ones that we she know. has seen from mm-hmm. WWE and stuff like that. Now, next on our list is one another one of my personal favorites, and that's the Armstrongs. You had Bullet Bob Armstrong, his sons Brad, which is known as the greatest worker that never got worldwide fame like he should have. You got Steve, who was part of the Young Pistols and Young Guns and had his small stint in WWE. You had Scott, who he was a really good wrestler, but he ended up being a phenomenal referee. You go back and watch some of his refing work. like He really directs the match a lot of times when you go back and you watch him. And then they had another brother, that some people might have heard of. And he goes, Oh, you didn't know? <laughs> and that's the road dog, Jesse James. <laughs> my personal favorite. Although him and Brad, I don't know. But road dog was the last brother, I believe, to get into the business. Because he was over in Iraq fighting in a war. But when he came in, you had the entire Armstrong. Their last name is really James. But the Armstrongs. And I gave them 10 out of 10. 10, out of 10. <laughs> Because they're just, all of them are great. There wasn't a, a stinker in the bunch. I personally gave it 5 out of 10 because besides Road Dog, I don't know any of them. John requested you to do a video that you might not know a lot about, but maybe in a year we can come back and do it again and right. you'll know more about it. True. Now, before we get to our last two or Thank three, yeah. there was another family that there was too many names to mention. And we're just going to call them the Anoya family. Mm -hmm. It started with the high chief, Peter Maivia. And it just trickles down. To to now. 
Yeah, you got the Wild Samoans. You got the Samoan SWAT team. You got the Rock. You got Tonga Kid, Rikishi, uh, Umaga, the Uh, Usos, Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns, Tamina, and my personal favorite Nia Jax. But that whole family, Yokozuna. I mean, who could forget Yokozuna? But that whole family. I mean, is there more of an example of? A family's DNA being designed for professional wrestling than that? I feel like in the future, in like 50 years, their family's still going to be there. Yeah, I'm sure some of their descendants will still be in wrestling somehow. Yeah. So I give this 9 out of 10 just like I did the hearts. I gave it a 10 out of 10 because, Mm -hmm. I mean, you got Yokozuna, Rikishi, Umaga. So who's your favorite in that family? The Rock. And yours is Nia Jax? Well, honestly, (laughs) honestly... It might be when Rikishi and his cousin were the Samoan SWAT team. Okay, that's better to pick than Naya. Truth, <laughs> truth. I know it's a weird pick, but I think that when Fatu was younger and more agile, I guess you could say, less heavy. Is that, is that okay? Yeah. Lighter. Lighter on his feet, yeah. <laughs> when the Samoan SWAT team were in WCW, that was my personal favorite of that family. Our next one, I believe, Oh, man! He just a common man, <laughs> working hard with his hands, doing the bound of elbow, baby. The Rose family. <laughs> you do the Dusty Rose. I beat Ric Flair five thousand times, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting there. It's good. I like it. But you got Dusty Rose, the American Dream, the common man, Cody Rose, <laughs> not Stardust, not Stardust, <laughs> Cody Rose. And then you got the natural, Dustin Rhodes. Okay, so who's your favorite in the family? My favorite by far is uh, Dustin. Dustin Rhodes. Dad, by far, sold more tickets than anybody. Right, true. However, you talk about in-ring work. Mm-hmm. I don't know too many people. There, there's a handful on this list, but besides this list, I don't know too many people that can like step up and match Goldust in-ring work. Mm-hmm. I really don't. True. So, I give this 10 out of 10 because I I know every family member, and I know that they're all good. You count who you marry. Cody Rhodes has a wife that wrestles. Sort She's of. not good, though. Sort of wrestles. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> She's real pretty. <laughs> <laughs> She's, very, She's a very attractive woman. I'll give him that. And she claims to wrestle. <laughs> and she claims to wrestle. Who else likes the Rhodes family? John, who recommended this video. Yes, he said that, this is mm-hmm. his favorite family in wrestling, mm-hmm. and we can see why. It's yep. a good pick, John. Mm-hmm. All right, we got one family left. Who is it? The Mamans. How could they not be the number one family in wrestling? True. They own wrestling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, you have Vince Sr., Vince Jr., you have Shane, Stephanie, and by marriage, Triple H. Wait. I believe someone left the... Vince Sr. off this picture. The one that started the dynasty. To put him in there. You forgot Vince Sr.? You're fired! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but to me, you cannot rank anyone higher than the family that took over wrestling. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, Stephanie is not the best in the ring, but she's still... She's equally as good as Brandy Rhodes. She is entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. She's, She's at least good on the mic. Brandy isn't even good on the mic, so. And everyone that I've ever listened to, and they're mm-hmm. not just politicking, it's even people that don't work there anymore, mm-hmm. say that Stephanie McMahon does more behind the scenes than anyone would ever have an idea about. Mm. Yeah, but she does. Okay, so, so give her props. She deserves it. So. Yeah, and also her theme song is kind of like a guilty pleasure song of mine. <laughs> I've listened to it more times than I care to admit. Cleaned up with the king's bed down. He relinquished the crown. Come on, thank me now. No, 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 no. Love me, love me, love me. <laughs> <laughs> so who's your favorite in the family? Poetry Boys. Yeah, I think, I think yeah. that's a good pick. <laughs> so to me, that has to be the number one family in wrestling because they ended up buying out or crushing and taking the business away from every other family on our list. Who all did you give 10 out of 10 to, Dad? The McMahons, the Armstrongs. That would probably be it. I just did uh, the roads. No, the Wyndham's also. 
Okay. Yeah, I did the roads in the Midland too. And who was your lowest ranking family? My lowest ranking family would probably have to be the Guns. And who did you rank the lowest? It's the top between the Armstrongs and the Vonnerts because I don't really know too much about them. Okay. All right. So if y'all have any recommendations for videos for us, please let us know in the comments. Yes. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Go in the description to check out my other channels and my merch store. Hey, and y'all check out these QR codes that we've yes. got now and make it easy to subscribe to find our other channels. Try mm -hmm. them out. Pretty cool. Yes. And be sure to comment below. Well, I know we left several families off this list. Let's see which ones y'all recognized that I left off the list and mm -hmm. add to the bottom. Yes, I will review them in the comments. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah. yeah. You're fired. Tori Housing. I have two YouTube channels. One is Tori Does Everything and the other is Tori Talks Wrestling. You're the best. Have a great birthday. Love that Dan Allen. Oh, yes. Very good. Thanks for watching. Bye. And Tori now has merch. Go check it out at bonfire.com. Link in the description and under the About tab. Bye.